<laughs> hey, Vegeta. This looks sort of like a Sharina. Let's see, it's like gray for her eyes. Something like that. Uh, class. What to use when none of the class... Oh, wait, no. The best class clearly is the Wanderer. You start with the Falchion. The Falchion is like one of the best weapons in the game. See how fast I can go through the game without dying. Idea here is mostly just run through the tutorial. You like the hunter since it has the leather armor? I can understand that. I haven't been on, yeah. I mean, I'm usually on maybe once or twice a week. I'm trying to get back into the habit of streaming more. But I've been well enough, I suppose. How about you, Vegeta? I was watching Darkseid Phil play Demon Souls earlier, and it made my heart hurt. Because it's like, I haven't been that bad at the game in a long time. So I felt I should play some no-death runs to get that off my mind. And then I'll die to the, uh, I'll die to the um, man-eaters. I know I, I know I will. I know I'm gonna die to the main eaters. It's faster just to run past all of them. I don't really give you that many souls. Though if one of them comes and tries to fight me, I, I don't mind killing him. Usually one of them likes to follow all the way to the boss room. I don't see him though, so I guess he's not following. Oh, whoops. You saw someone speedrunning it earlier? And it was like, but it was in Japanese. Oh, were you watching Miso Souls by any chance? Yeah, I've been catching his stream every now and again, seeing how he, uh, how the new route goes, the hunter route. Pretty cool stuff to see. Yeah, I heard about the new remaster. I'm not really sure if I'm willing to pay for it if it's more than $20. Because frankly, the PS port, the PC port for this game, or for Dark Souls 1, was horrible. So the fact that they think they can charge more for the second attempt because uh, they gave me 4K resolution and 60 FPS out of the box is ridiculous. So I'm going to have to wait until they actually announce a price. Uh, of course I get stomped. God, I get stomped again. He moonwalked me to death. All right. Ah, oh, it's buying me though. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna get it on PS4. It runs like crap on PC, even with DS fix. It's because the game was never properly, uh, what is it, optimized for any of the consoles that it was put on. Frankly, the 
Dark Souls is kind of a mess in terms of optimization for any console. Like, FromSoft wasn't particularly good at programming for the PS3 or the Xbox. Even though the Xbox is just Windows machine, really. But yeah, I have it on PS3, and it definitely does not run well at all on PS3. It runs fine on my PC, but my PC's kind of beefy. I can't say DS Fix is the one that made it run better on my PC, but it ran pretty poorly when I had it on the laptop. Alright, so this is scripted. You can't escape this death. And not only that, the game doesn't count it as a death. How I uh, verify all my runs is at the end, I will go back to the, pan uh, the Pantheon online with another character and show my death counter. And the death here never counts. Probably because it, it I guess story-wise, if you had the Nexial Binding, it would count it. But you don't have the Nexial Binding when it when you start, so it doesn't, so it doesn't really count against you. So I'm not gonna count it against me either. I was almost considering yes. speed running this uh, bit because I've been learning how to do some of the speed run stuff. I have this. Would have been cool if they remastered Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Yeah, it would have been. But Demon Souls is a whole nother can of worms in re regards to that kind of stuff. There's a lot of other issues that this game has besides the issues that I just mentioned. Uh, yeah, Demon Souls is owned by Sony. So if Sony wanted to remaster it, it would be on them. Frankly, I think they should do it because it's one of those games that everybody should, I think, play at least once. Like, uh, in hindsight, it's not as hard as any of the other Souls games, I think, but it has quirks to it that make, I think make it, like, one of the better games. I'm also playing offline because uh, the online servers for North America are shit. Not worth pulling online, frankly, in the U.S. I was watching Lobos try to do Demon Souls earlier. And frankly, he was trying to do an escort mission run where everybody else plays the, kills the enemies for him. And that didn't go pretty well, so I'm just not going to even attempt. You want to punch your gramps in the face? Jeez, Ken. Putting an SSD in your PS3 makes it run a lot bearable, but I hate having my PS3 hooked up just for P for Demon Souls. Yeah, I get that. I have it hooked up for a lot of games, actually. I'm, I'm getting really bad. I'm being really bad at this game at the moment. Calm down, Himura. I get that reference. I'm killing everything here, so I don't have to worry about them when I come through again. Yeah, I, mean, I, I get that feeling. Although, me personally, I've never really had... Oddly enough, I've never had the urge to hit anybody. Ah. Uh, I'm wondering. Hold on. Ah. Oh, doesn't have enough range. That didn't... Okay, I was wondering. I was like, why didn't that work? Nobody's dropping anything either. This is making my run really annoying. I want an extra bomb. One of you guys needs to drop a bomb. Somebody in chat, give me an extra firebomb. You give me a firebomb, I won't die. Wait, what did he drop? He dropped something and I didn't look. Because I'm bad at looking. I have no idea what he dropped. I'm gonna say he's probably dropped some grass. Oh, I have it why I went to anger management before he ended up curm stomping the man's hat. Makes sense.
give Uso no fire bombs, but give him a reach around. Give, get, go away, Ken. Do you want to get banned, Ken? Because this is how you get banned. Kappa. Nice, I'm getting all this stuff now. It's way faster to just running R1, uh, a two-handed R1 into their faces, because usually it gives them enough damage to kill them. Usually, and then this happens. Dang, man. Everybody's throwing firebombs at me. See, I'm glad I don't, I didn't like mod, or, uh, mod any of you guys. I'm pretty sure you would have like banned everybody in chat already. You're looking at them weird. Like, hey, that guy looked at me funny. Get that ass banned. I'm still not sure what weapon I'll use. I'll probably just use the falchion. Hey, monkey. All right, let's kill this dude because it's easier. Oh, wow. I suck. I died to one of the easiest enemies in the game to parry. Let's try that again. A little bit faster this time. This is like the first time I've ever died to that dude. This is a dude who can get all the way to New Game Plus, and I, I, I died to the, like, the first enemy within like 15 minutes. Warm-up run? Yeah. Gotta be a warm-up run. No online, thanks. I'm playing kosher today. We'll just, uh, blue eyes. And what I die to is what influences the character's name. Female. Random. Oh, right. She needs blue eyes because I called her blue eyes. There we go. It's kind of blue. Blue eyes, white dragon. Oh, whoops. I forgot to pick the um, wanderer again. A blue eyes, white knight. Milady, milady, milady. King Eternally tipping. I am eternal. Non parry mode. As punishment, I will now fat roll until I kill the vanguard. In fact, I'm probably just going to wear the armor for the duration because I'm a cheeky scrub. So you don't have to fight this dude. He always, like, his gimmick is is that he's just here for you to test your weapon on him. I don't know why they, uh, I like how uh, inclusive they are with the way that the game is introduced to you. It's like, look, he's just sort of like walking. He doesn't even know how to attack you. So you, you can just like, first enemy dead. Fun fact, that is an anime only card. But this guy, he immediately attacks you. And now I'll have to kill everything on the way back as punishment for running past them. Because usually I just, I usually kill all the dudes with a parry or something, but I ran past because I was trying to be fast. Use an item. Thanks. I'll do that when I, I don't I have uh, a need to. I think that one was about rolling. So fun fact, in an early build of this game, you wouldn't have been using an arc stone to get to this area. You would have walked through a, an entryway on the front of the building. And it would have just taken you through a loading zone to here. So about... You've always wanted to glitch out of this area? Here, I'll show you an interesting bit since I'm here. 
So if you uh, stand about right yeah, and then walk a bit forward, you'll notice there's, a, uh, there's an active switch on the other side of the door. So at some point, they would have intended you to get all the way around and back here and open this up as a shortcut. But shortcuts wouldn't have made any sense because arc stones aren't a thing in that build of the game. I'm really bad at parrying for some reason all of a sudden. Quit it. Dude trying to attack me when I was in the middle of attacking. And then this guy's always shield guarding. But if you tur try and go... Oh, wait. I didn't get him. Whoops. There we go. That's the faster way to parry. Or repost an enemy. Can you stream if you don't have PlayStation Plus on PlayStation? What do you mean? Do you mean like uh, PlayStation? Oh, you mean like streaming off the PS4 via their service? I'm not really sure actually. I've never actually used their service because I've always had a... What's the word? I've always had a capture card, so I've never had to. I killed you by eating grass. Feel proud of yourself? No idea, really. You'll have to ask somebody that actually has PS Plus. Then again, I've never really looked. I can give it a look at some point. Alright, time to uh, fat roll for the Vanguard fight. Longsword's pretty good. Like, most of the weapons in this game are actually pretty good. There's not really... I can only name a handful of weapons that are actually pretty bad. Clubs are pretty bad. Like, the regular wooden club is pretty bad. And then the Needle of Eternal Agony is pretty bad. A lot of weapons still do pretty decent damage. Like, even the Rune Sword is actually pretty good. But only up to New Game. Like, New Game Plus is where the weapon starts to suffer. I, I, I'd like to say the rune sword is probably the inspiration for a Stora's straight sword. But it's more effective than that one is, because I think the Astora's straight sword loses its damage about halfway through that game. Agony is meant to be evil. Yeah, the Moonlight Greatsword is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a really good weapon. It, it is light as a feather, and it goes through shields. It's one of the two sword. It's like one of the three swords in the game that actually penetrates shields. The other one is blind and, or the other two are blind and shuttle. You want the penetrator to be good, but it's trash. Yeah, the penetrator. Yeah, you're right. With exception to like it's our like the one-handed R2 attack. It's like counter damage is obscene, but other than that, the weapon's not really that good. You like Blue Blood Sword? Me too, I think, but my favorite is probably the QH. Kiwage, probably Blue Blood Sword in second, and then Meat Cleaver in third. Meat Cleaver's uh, just an obscenely all around good weapon. Hyper armor during some of its attacks. It has an absurd amount of scaling. And you can buff it. Like, it's one of the few weapons that have two A scales and, like, an S. Or is it two S's and an A? Like, ass. It would have been funnier if it was ass scaling. You use the Night Sword? I've never actually been able to use it. Mostly because of how early or how late into the game you you usually get. Maybe one day I'll I'll get lucky and a knight will drop it. Keyledge got you through your blind run. 
I mean, I mean, I imagine it's it's a really good weapon. I just I can never get it. So okay, so I need to kill those dudes. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have enough souls to level up without popping one. Okay. I'm just learning as I go here. This is my first playthrough, guys. No spoils. I should change my title. First playthrough, uh, no death, blind, no spoils. K thanks. TM or something at the end of it. You just use Dragon Lock Sword until you get the Knight Sword? No, oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. I might consider doing that. The Knight Sword is actually really useful. But the problem is, is that this is a no death run and I need chunks. And the chunks are in the lava. And you take damage when you stand on the lava. Maybe I can get water veil or something. Maybe. I can get water veil. Wear a flame defense ring. Wear my heavy armor. Don't run. If you run through the lava, you get damage. Double damage. broke you peasants standing in the lava hurts yep it's not like dark souls lava pain but it's still pretty comparable sounds like elf talk i can see how this is a blind playthrough streamer you're supposed to parry blue eyed knight Streamer, you're not supposed to die there. Streamer, what are you doing? Streamer, heal. Back off and heal. Exactly, that's what I, I was supposed to be doing. I was supposed to back off and munch on some grass, but I didn't. I was too busy hamming it up for the chat. What? I died? Dropped inputs, man. Ooh, that was close. Good thing I had enough stamina for a follow-up. Hey, I was supposed to hit both of you. Be careful with those hollows. Trademark. Original, original, the plot device. Do not steal. Oh, what? I wonder what I got stuck on. Weird. My character, she she got stuck on something right there, so when I tried to do the running attack, it just, nothing came out. No throw. Only play. Or no touch. Only throw. Do cannonball with fat roll. Okay, that sounds good. I can try doing that. Yes, free turpentine. Hold on a sec. Ooh, good. My bar is already set properly. I didn't even have to do anything. Perfect strats every time. Yeah, I know. That guy's always going to hit me. I should really do something besides letting him hit me. Uh, did he have... He had an item. Unbelievable, this asshole. No take, only throw, yes. I know the memes. I'm on the internets. Fart. I had to roll sooner. I, I keep forgetting that. When you're fat rolling, you have to roll much sooner than, uh, than what I was doing. Bastard sword, I guess, since I'm down here. I came down here to get this man's loot. It better be worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. He gave me the firebomb that he promised me to last run. You said you'd give me a firebomb, but you never did. Well, now I'm waiting here in a, in a pit of death. The only way I can relate is through memes. Sorry. Uh, 
Uh-uh. See, I'm gonna make you uh, sad because I killed you. Give me that. More bombs, yes. Now we're gonna watch a couple of stooges do something funny. I like how they introduce the ex the idea of exploding barrels to the player. Two dumb numbskulls just walk right into them. Oh, you can stand here too, cause bad pathfinding. He kills himself. It's funny. Uh, oh, and then you can headbutt chains. Yeah. Hey, Glorix. And then I'm gonna do in a conga line. I guess that's the best way to describe this. This is the conga line. If you stand here, it's not just because they're jumping off, it's because that. Normally, I don't get all of them walking up here like this, so that's even better. I got three of them. Four of them? Four of them. S five of them, actually. You can also roll through the change. Yeah, but it's funnier to headbutt them. Clean green, because this is the only time in the game I'm going to be able to use it. Some more health is always nice. I think the next enemy I parry, I'm going to use it to heal. In case anybody's noticed, this is like Devil May Cry. You got to do something flashy, you know. Taunt the enemy, essentially. That's what Devil May Cry taught me. Like Dante likes to beckon the enemies at him. Come on. Though Devil May Cry never entertained the idea of a stamina meter. Nice, Sue. Made the role as a fat boy. Wait, did I... I never noticed them making noises. Hmm. Hey, Ostrava, be useful for once, would you? What on earth are you doing? Okay, guys, let's see if the Ostrava can kill these guys by himself. I do this like every time because it's funnier this way. Come on, Ostrava, be useful for once. Take it control of your life. Take your life back from these vagrants while I reap all the benefits. He's doing well enough. Oh no, he's backing himself into a literal pit of monsters. It's like high school all over again. Parry, then kick a dragon in the knackers. I can't do that in this game, un unfortunately. Ah, oh, he did it. He lived. Good boy. Now I get all the loot and the souls. Because he's, he's not particularly bright, this prince. Give me. All right. All right. Um, let's kill this guy. Because it's faster. Hey, don't walk away from me. Oh, he dropped something too. Nice. Everybody's being so generous with their drops for me. Hey, you. If you could be so kind as to drop that claymore... That would be great if you would drop this claymore for me. Oh, next time. Next time, I say next time all the time, but next time is when it's going to happen. Also, I forgot to heal when I, ki I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yay. All right, and now for some fireworks, because he's busy fighting that guy for me. Ah, what the heck? I'm supposed to kill more of you. Slave shield. Uh, thanks, I guess. <coughs> We're just putting up barriers between ourselves. There we go. Need to get back to Zelda. I might get back to it someday. I got the DLC. I was playing through it at some point, and then I just sort of got bored. <laughs> Essentially, the DLC just adds more dungeons. 
or more of the uh, root trials. I shouldn't call them dungeons because they're not exactly like, you know, old Legend of Zelda dungeons. Ha, <laughs> the old switcheroo, kid. Don't worry, I got him on the ropes. I don't know where that thing came from. Felt like somebody threw a thing at me. Ah, oh, another slave shield. Perfect. It'll go right in my collection. You lost interest mid-playthrough? I can understand that. Whoa, hey. Let's not do anything nasty. Cut his feet right off at the ankle. That guy just has a soul in front of him. I don't need it. I'm getting really bad at parrying all of a sudden. Doesn't look good on me. There we go. You like playing it and I like it way more than Skyrim? I can understand that. Skyrim's... Hoisted by my own petard. Ooh, these guys drop goodies. Ah, uh, don't want. Didn't definitely didn't want. Your first goal is to kill a Lionel. Good good luck with that one. I think a Lionel is actually they're kind of cool looking. They're not exactly the most dangerous enemy in the game, but like a lot of the major mobs are. Then Master Sword. Hey. Thanks. If you're not sure you want to parry them, then just either let them ring off your shield and give them R2, or just circle around them and give them a backstab. You can parry them. They're just... That one specific attack is like blind fire, essentially, with the way that it works. I really don't like how fast some of their attacks are. You almost have to parry on reflex rather than knowing the timing. Oh, come on. I was not standing on the stairs and you know it. Okay, fine. I gotta wait for him to come back. So I'm doing a thing. It's dangerous to do. That's why I do it. But also because mainly to get a ring. There's a very special ring that's over there by the dragons. And I need to lure the red dragon over here so I don't have any trouble. This dragon is very rude. Oh my god, I'm doing it too fast. I'm going too fast for this dragon, and he's being very rude. Uh, angry emoji somewhere in, in this conversation. Usually I'm nowhere near as this talkative. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. I said that at my coworker. My coworker will look at me like an idiot. <laughs> oh man, your coworkers are dumb. They just don't get it. All right, wait for the dragon to breathe. That's pretty much the best way to do it. There we go. Now you just you just run. You keep running. You never stop running, except when you're about to run out of stamina, like right about now, and then just keep running again. And you just keep doing that, never letting your stamina run out. And you'll notice the dragon is blowing fire twice. So you can just come over here, get a couple of goodies, a couple of souls. That's a ring and that's a shield. I don't need either of them. I just need this ring right here. Great ring strength. The ring is great strength. And we just roll over here and get a grass and a shard of arcstone. Like, this is probably the slowest you can possibly go through this level, but, you know. The ring allows me to fat, uh, fast roll with armor on. Still not sure what weapon I want to use. I'm probably just going to... I don't think I'm going to stick to the longsword. The longsword's plus one already, but you get free materials for killing the vanguard, so... No skin off my back. Angry. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh. From the behind. Night longsword. I don't know. I think the night sword's kind of an unreliable weapon to get. For a no death run, anyway. Oh, he didn't follow me. That was kind of weird. I'll see. I don't really think of. I don't know if I really want to get it that badly. I can either run all the way to 140, uh, to the beginning of the King Gallant fight to get it and near the Blue Dragon, or I can uh, buy it from the vendor in 1 3. Frankly, it's just faster. Is there a shuttle? Yeah, there is. You can get one in, in World 5. You can find one for free, or you can buy one from the vendor that's there. My goodness, I'm getting so many slave shields today. I've never used it, so I'm not really sure. I know it goes around shields, just like it should in Dark Souls. And then, of course, there's this other curved weapon called the Blind that goes right through shields, just like the Moonlight Sword. But you can only get it from killing a red phantom. Heck, I might just, like, uh make a save file and give myself a uh, blind just so I can try it. I've used a lot of weapons. I think the last weapon I used really well was the pickaxe. Alright, I need to put my armor back on. So, firebombs are like super ridiculously good against this boss. I cannot stress enough how good firebombs are to this boss. Also, they're hitting me quite a bit for some reason. Usually they're not that accurate. Stop it. Anybody gonna drop anything? One. One dude pick, dropped something. I didn't even look at it because I was picking it up too fast. Dang it. Pickaxe really good. You're just annoyed that it gets sharp and not crush. Crushes things. It also, it's also nothing but piercing damage. It also is affected by the direct uh, damage ring, uh, master's ring. So you can actually use that ring if you want to do more damage with it. Not only that, it's more it's more consistent with that weapon for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because the weapon's almost always hitting a sweet spot with it. I tried it out when I used it the last. Because I was like, hmm, this looks like a direct damage weapon. And it doesn't tell you whether or not it's a direct damage. Because usually when you like... Um, when you look in the the weapon description, it'll tell you if it does direct damage or not. Though some of the weapons don't tell you that. Like, I think Crescent Axe, for example, doesn't tell you. And what else? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to talk to this monumental. Uh, there. Lore, that's really interesting. Whoops, it didn't push there. buttons enough. There we go. Now let's see if I can walk off and not die. Of course I wouldn't walk off and die like that. There we go. So, see, I guess I'm just gonna continue using the longsword. I guess.
You never use the ring? Yeah, the ring is really useful for a lot of direct damage weapons, like axes. I forgot, those are weapons that use the ring. Just a basic battle axe, or maybe even the great axe could use it. Alright, I leveled up the sword once already, so I'm gonna have a little under 15k, I think. Plus, I think I ran past a soul, so I'm definitely gonna be under souls a bit. I think. Oh, I am at 15k, cool. What the? I shall... Whoops, I forgot to uh, take that off. Put that on. So I need 72 endurance. There we go. And then the rest of it goes in the health. Wait, I never need this ring. I don't even know why I'm giving this to him. I never need the ring anymore. Because I almost always deposit everything that I get. Which is very little, actually. He says best of luck to me twice in a row all of that time. Alright. Let's see if I can get some hardstone. So if you play your cards right, you can get a really powerful weapon really early. Because, <laughs> well, if you're trying to do a melee-only build, the best way to do it is either pure strength or quality build. Because quality is the easiest weapon to upgrade. Or to get materials for, especially in World 2. So many crystal lizards in this area, as opposed to every other area. There's like maybe two crystal lizards in all of level... Th no, there are three actually. There are three crystal lizards in total in within Latria alone. And there's like... Uh, what's the word? There's like maybe three crystal lizards in World 5. There's like three apiece in every level. It doesn't make any sense. No, th there's four in World 4. But this one's got like... I got that, so that's good. Uh, this one's got like 20. Which makes no sense. They give you way more material for a straight melee than they do any other material. And that's probably because the, uh, if you're using... Whoops. I was going to say something else before I got smashed by a rock. Mostly hardstone and sharpstone. Heavy emphasis on clear stone, because once you get the 2-2, two, two, it gives you nothing but clear. All, every single crystal lizard will drop clear stone. So it's like, you should be using clear stone, because frankly, that's the most prevalent material after 2-2. Two, two. You're never attacking that fast. Dude, seriously. Wow. I've never seen him already shooting me when I open enter the room. He's usually already li lining up. The, the problem with him is that he's too aware of me. I don't really understand how he's supposed to be already knowing that you're walking through the door. It feels cheap, is what I mean to say. He probably heard you since you were wearing armor. Yeah, that actually could be it. I keep forgetting that's a thing. If you wear heavy armor, enemies are more likely to notice you from farther. But I'm wearing the Thief's Ring too, so he shouldn't visibly see me. 
But that doesn't pretend prevent me from being heard. At least I don't think it does. Making it difficult to be detect detected by enemies. It doesn't specify, so I don't know. Alright, this is a longsword plus two, so it's not going to be able to kill these guys in one backstab. Because it's like, uh, unfortunately, this is not a Keelage. Keelage has higher critical damage. If this was a plus two Keelage, I would be killing these guys in one hit. At least when I parry them, I can kill them in one hit. Rock boy, give me rocks. What's that white? I just saw like a white thing across the screen. Has anybody else noticed that? There's like a streak of white that goes across the bottom of my screen. Doggo's bending around corners. Do it again. I want to parry him. Hmm. Wow. Wow, I suck. That's how often I parry him, it's never. Oh. Oh, almost. There we go. You're supposed to wipe sticky white stuff off when you're done. <laughs> I, I really suck all this. Screen went out for a second. Stream didn't. My screen, though, did. Hold on a sec. Let me make sure. Sometimes his friend... I was going to say, sometimes his friend hears me before he does. So he'll come running down here and blindside me. Like that shit. Screen goes dead. Help. Oh, I love it when you're able to attack through walls. Also, why aren't you dying in one hit? It's really strange that I'm not killing these guys. I think they have more HP than the others. No, my TV went blank. That's what I was saying. The stream doesn't do that. It's because my TV has a trouble, is having trouble with the resolution. Oh, I love it when you have, like, one uh, 360 attack range. <laughs> PS3 is uh, 720p to 1080p. This game's in 720p, though. But my can't, my streaming setup is kind of weird. Oh yeah, I totally wanted to lock onto the dude behind me. Why did I want to lock onto the dude in front of me? I don't know. Why are you what? Huh? It must be because of the armor. These guys never notice, but oh, then that happened. Yeah, normally those. Who are you? We're having a conversation here. Rude. 
These miners are incredibly rude. I'm trying to have a conversation with these uh, guys that I'm brutally murdering, and he just shows up and clock cocks me in the back of the head. Everybody here needs sensitivity training. I am incredibly triggered right now. You guys call this a mine? There, I got all the rocks. I don't even need everything, but I'll, I guess I'll get them all. I need all the rocks. Oh, let's get that out of there and put some sticky white stuff instead. Obligatory sticky white stuff comment. Insert here. Uh, control C and then Control V and then Control V, Control V, Control V. This is supposed to be my safe place. This is supposed to be my safe place, yes. See, rather than getting angry, I'm, I'm trying to play it off. That's how I'm, I'm trying to, uh, what is the word? I'm trying to justify not being angry. It's like, yeah, there's no point in getting angry. I was angry, uh, yesterday. I got really mad because the man-eaters, the man-eaters literally put me into a position where I could not not die. Shit's all over Shay's face. Somebody ban him, the madman. What a rude dude. He is a rude viewer. I will not be bullied. Mod me and you'll do it. Nah. Haha, <laughs> dude thought he could hit me. I don't even need this. I'm getting it anyway, though. Bye. It's called a fucking spine. I have a spine, too, but uh, sometimes I have to pull it out of my back and straighten it up and then put it back in. I come from a family of bad backs. You can't make this chat great again? Crooked. I'm crooked? Is that what it is? Respect the chat's integrity. Oh, damn it. Get out of here, dog. Souls dogs. Yeah, yes. This is actually... Dogs? Whoa! Dog is accurate. He's like a... I'm failing to moderate. Fuck my sensitivities. Come on, Ken. I'm about to ban you. You're about to get your ass banned. Is that right? Banned? Banned? Banned. You take your chances. Yeah, I was. I didn't even realize I put it in there, dude. He's like, I'm not sure. Do I want to attack him? <laughs> I, I was ready. I was waiting for him to attack me. Am I gonna be in a band? Oh, whoops. Sorry. There you go. Oh, I was trying to block and I picked it up instead. Wow, dude. Am I still locked on? Yeah. 
Whoa. There we go. Alright, let's go level up the weapon. I should be able to get a plus two quality sword. Quality time with a quality sword. Uh, Demon Souls brand quality swords. They're not too bad. I need to play something new after I'm done with this. I've been I was playing a little bit of uh, Subnautica. Like I played it for like full almost five hours straight. That's how much I liked it, but I haven't actually streamed any of it. I'm considering streaming it after I'm done with Demon Souls. Again. Long sword is best sword, really. Yeah, fuck that rat wagon. Subnautica a spooky game? No, it's about uh, deep sea exploration on, like, space planet. Like, you're like in a ship that crashes on a... some strange and foreign planet, and you have to survive by deep sea diving. And your gameplay is built around building a base. It's kind of like Minecraft. Uh, no, it's, it's like... It's what No Man's Sky was probably promising to be, but it didn't be. It wasn't that. Like, rather than having a No Man's Sky, it was a, you know, man by the Subnautica game. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying a lot of words. But I really like Subnautica. It's quite good. Or at least I think it is, anyway. My brother told me that it was like exiting open at early access kind of soonish. Or maybe it already did. So I was gonna maybe buy it when it went on sale. Other than that, I've been like uh, streaming it off of his computer with like the family share plan that we have. There's even a permadeath mode. I do permadeath. But it's like, uh, it's all about managing health. Uh, oxygen, and if you play it on the harder difficulties, food and water, too. You two, you're too, you two stopped buying early access? Yeah, my last early access game I bought was... What game did I buy that was early access? Uh... I'm trying to think. There was a game that did eventually come out of early access, but the game was shitty anyway, so it didn't matter. A uh, game called Dream. That's what it was. It was about a guy who uh, went to bed one day, and he had a dream. And it was kind of a mediocre dream that it was utterly forgettable, really. I think that was the problem, is that it was trying to be too much like Dreams. You know, that feeling you get when you wake up and immediately you remember the dream. And then like two minutes later, you don't even remember what you're dreaming about. It's like, what was I dreaming about again? Kind of like that. That's how I sum the game up. It's utterly forgettable within about two minutes of finishing it. Man, I'm so tired. I better go to bed. That's what he said. I remember that part. Oh, wow, I'm just so tired. Yawn. Except that's how he really yawned. You actually hear him, him, uh, what is it? I can't think of the word. He, he says it, he actually says the, uh, the sound vocally. He, he, he exclaims it. He exclaimed the yawn. He, he's yawn. Yawn. I think there was supposed to be some kind of puzzle in that game, but it didn't feel like a puzzle to me. It felt pretty bland. I, the idea was sounded cool when I when I saw the game. It looked really cool, and then I played it, and it was boring. It was just really disappointing, I think. Spiderweb or fireballs? Fireball? No, that's fine. Now it's fireball.
There we go. I need to catch a crystal lizard really quick. I still got the buff. Gotta get him. I gotta run really quick. The script only said yawn and he just read it. It's like, I'm getting paid. I don't care if I how I say it. It's like, you know what? That's a good take. This is a fine take. Don't worry, guys. I'm just following the lizard. Don't mind me. Hey, one of them gave me a chunk. Or he gave me a chunk. That's even better. I wasn't expecting a chunk, really. Oh, I didn't mean to go this way. This is actually a very bad plan. Because now I'm going to get stuck down here with a couple of lizards that don't give me chunks. And then the screen did that black line again. All right, let's. Wow, you are quick to run. Oh, chunk, nice. All right, load. So like I said, every time you kill a crystal lizard here, they give you clear stone. Sometimes you get really lucky and get chunks. But there are set drops for chunks that I can get. There are four, I know there are four chunks that I can get, which will allow me to get to a plus four. Sometimes you can catch those guys before they disappear. Shards, okay. Uh, no point in me running, I can just do this. In fact, I think this gives me a plus... Plus three or a plus four. This may give me a plus three yeah plus three and then I just need to kill two more lizards to get a plus four let's go do that really quickly because uh, if I get the farming out of the way now I don't have to worry about it later plus one of the guys drops there's a there's a red phantom that drops three clear stone chunks and then there's one drop of clear stone chunk so the only reason I would be farming later oh he's obviously not gonna give me what I want so I'm just gonna run back this way So if I stand here, I might get lucky and pin one of the lizards right here to the door. Oh, missed him. Got you. Nice. All right. Shards. One of the one of the uh, red phantoms back here has it. I think it's about right about near. Yep. That's when they notice you. Uh, they're kind of dangerous, I guess. They're dangerous because they like to come at you up t at the same time. And they have uh, hyper armor on some of their attacks. Like that. And that. Oh, 
Oh, double kill. Cool. I guess I'll take his too. Wait, do I really need the other chunk? I need two chunks and then four chunks. Yeah, I need one more chunk. Once. No, no, I need I need several more chunks actually. But I only need one more chunk right now. Sharp stone? Cheapskate. Patches. Uh -oh. oh no, bear bug. I wonder what would have happened if I ran back fast enough. Would a bear bug kill me if it landed on me? As promised, the treasure is all yours. If you survive, that is. Good luck to you. Don't worry, I, I got this. Oh hey, Patches, fancy running into you here. Thanks. Good guy Patches giving me that ring that he just pilfered off that corpse. He's just like me. How many clear stone? I got... I need two more lizards. Or maybe three. Kill that one again. Because I need six for the plus four. So I need 12, essentially, is what I need. One, two, four. One, two, four. So I need two more chunks. Okay, so I only need to kill one more lizard for chunks. Okay. Got everything I need. Light it, chumps. I could use my other Arcstone shard, but then I might need it somewhere else, so I'm just not going to use it right now. I'll use it whenever it feels more like an emergency. Which will probably never be... ever. Hey, I didn't set off the exploding vapor. Hey, let's get it while I'm here. Might as well. Chunk? Wait, is that right? I think that was just a chunk of sharp stone. It was. Okay. Farce alarm. Wrong chunk. Farce alarm. Got it. Farce alarm. This is for exact, uh, for if I get killed by the exploding orb. Oh, I hit somebody. Who got hit besides me? What? Hmm. Right out then. Still trying to refine this thing.
due to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdraw and I'm gonna go to world four. This is like, I, I'm afraid that if I say this is the easiest level for me, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. So I'm just not gonna say anything about this. That's usually how it goes, right? The game hears you talking shit about it, and it decides to. Hey, I heard you. I heard you all the way over there, buddy. Not nice what you have to say. Hmm, that's pretty good against Skellyman. Huh? That didn't work. There we go. See, like I said, you you even utter that you think you're good at this. If you even utter good in Demon Souls in the same sentence, you usually get trashed almost immediately by the game. I don't go any further because bow guys. I keep forgetting that's what that is. Kind of surprised Black Phantom Skelly Men didn't see me. getting all the good attacks from these guys. The ones that are easy to parry. Didn't work. I had to save Blige. I haven't saved him in a while. What else do I need? Do I need anything back over here? Uh, not that I can think of. Ah, this is huge. Oops.
Oh, I got the silly one today. Weird. Oh, he heard me. He's gonna do something different now. There it is. He heard me call him silly. He doesn't like it when you call him silly. Oh, now I remember. Usually I kill the one archer that's up there because he always takes pot shots at me no matter where I am. This is one of two ladders in the entire game that I use. Because it's way safer to go up the ladder and then drop down than it is to go through the silver skellyman. Because he'll just, like, roll into the wall right there. I mean, I just go across, get this soul. And then drop back down. You missed the arrow trap, too. Even with Thieves Ring on these uh, Manta Rays... Or storm rays, they always see you. So just run to the left. To the left. This guy, on the other hand, you can run right to the right of him. They always pivot. They always turn in place like that. So you can always take the wall and you'll be fine. And I'll come up here and get some grass. I think there's like a soul on the other wall over here that I can get. Since I've been stingy, I'm gonna... Whoops. Well, that didn't go well. Oh well, I'm not gonna get the soul then. That was just Cloudstone right there, I don't need it. All right, I got this fire buff. Not sure if I wanna use it on the boss. I think I'm just not gonna. I got a plus four quality sword, so this weapon should do enough damage to make him fall over. Ah, I got hit. Ah, perfect. One more? No? There we go. I'm gonna sit here all second. One, two. Need three more hits. There we go. Hold on a second. There we go. Not broken at all, guys. This game is totally fun. Totally fine. Balanced. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it, really. There's no other way to. Someday I'll get exactly 42069 for souls. It's a very lofty goal, I know, but I think I can do it. If I believe in myself hard enough. I gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so this was where I needed the fire. I'm gonna use the fire buff. Maybe? Nah. 
Nah, let's take our chances and get killed. I don't even need, I didn't even need to say bludge, but I did, because why not? Need better heal. I think I can just get down there, bob and weave, stab the dude a couple of times, he'll die. He always dies. Dies like everybody. Like me. See, like I told you, he dies like everybody, almost like me. See, I told you I could do it. No trouble whatsoever, 100% flawless execution on my part. I couldn't have done it any better, really. And now for the coup de gras. Just come about here, and then just run up the hill a bit, climb up, and then stand about right now. Let this dude fall right off on his ass. This is totally the intended strat by Miyazaki. You can look it up in one of the uh, Eurogamer interviews from uh, 9th, 20, 27, 8. Yeah, 27, 8. And you'll know you're doing exactly what was intended. I mean, I don't know what else you're supposed to do here. Fight them? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Ain't nobody got time to fight enemies in video games about fighting. This is the part where you turn the stream off and go watch somebody else who's better at the game. <laughs> Not me, of course. Because this guy's like standing here. He says like, I guess I'm gonna just let you kill me, I guess. Kinda weird that he just sorta stood there taking my hits. Running attack. Bye. He laughs as I killed him. Whoa. And then that one die dude with his dying breath cursed me. With my dying breath, I curse Zoidberg. Why do you have less health than the other dudes? I'll never know. So, throw. Bob and Weave, that's how you te they teach you how to play dodgeball. If you can dodge a laser, you can dodge a ball. I need about a billion of these? No biggie. I don't really need a billion, but I need like maybe 10. And I'm getting really good with the drops. Like, surprisingly, I've never had this many drop them consecutively. It's a brick. <laughs> I've seen someone's been playing bully bricky before. Due to my god armor, I mean god mode engaged, I can totally take all these hits without dying.
oh damn but the worst I got was my mom would whip me with a paint stirrer sometimes my dad would use a belt but you know a belt's not really anything like he wouldn't use like a he would just use a you know regular pants belt Jeez, man. Ah, sucker stone, because I'm a real sucker for picking it up. That's all I'm ever going to say about sucker stone. I think I got like eight. Nine, that's even better. All right. Uh, let's use some um, good old-fashioned turpentine to make this short work of this boss. Plus, wearing the thief's ring makes this boss laughably easy. So I'm going to continue the, the old tradition of using the thief's ring. Because frankly, there's not really that any other useful rings for me to use other than thief's ring. Thief's ring's best ring. Alright. Now, burn, burn, burn. Burn. Told you, easy mode. He didn't even see me. See, he's so good at seeing, not seeing me, he walked around me. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. No worries, though. It happens to all of us. It's, I'm blind sometimes myself, old hero. Don't beat yourself up about it. Worst part is I considered that normal. Yeah, that's not normal. No offense. I'm, I'm not trying to make light. That shit can be pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, his shockwave is totally useless. I don't even know why they gave him that. It does nothing. The shockwave helps him none. Local streamer prides on blind war vent. <laughs> yeah, I know. I picked on him. I'm sorry. Never happened again. I promise. Uh, do I? I guess I'm gonna continue. I'm, I'm just gonna go kill the boss from here. I don't need my shield, and I don't need my sword. Alright. This fight's kinda easy when you don't lock onto these dudes. They give you a giant weapon, doesn't require any stats to use it, and it has a ridiculously powerful AoE attack that instantly kills every single one of these guys in one hit. The only downside is, is that it expends all your stamina. No matter how much stamina you have, it, it just blows through the entire bar. But you don't have to, uh, you don't even have to walk onto the enemies when you use it. So, open my menu. Uh, long sword. There we go. Now I can one-shot you assholes. Huh, it's funny, I do more damage to them one-handed than I do to the boss two-handed. I missed. Did I get two? I, or I only got one. Local hero kills family of uh, stingrays, of endangered stingrays. 
think of the headlines. Monster! Those guys were almost extinct! Oh, I, I was hoping I'd get two of them. Or local, uh, local hero kills, uh, screams at Cloud. Shit. Well, that was on my, on me, really. I was waiting for him to come down. He, he took an obscene amount of time just coming down. Sorry, I got antsy. I, I needed to attack him. Get this fight over with. Ah, hoping to hit something at least. Trying to figure out a better way to fight this dude. There's not really anything I can think of that makes this fight safer or more interesting, really. Maybe a way to kill multiple enemies at once. Maybe I can go down there and avoid it. I need to hit him three more times. Then he just sort of like goes from zero to 60 in like 10 seconds. Or like zero to uh, 200 in like a second, like a Bugatti or something. There we go, got both of them. Should give me about 2k or 200k. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Up. Can I wear this without it? No. It's gonna be a while. But it's fine. Okay. Go to World 2, kill Fun Lurker. So I don't get the remainder of my materials. I'm gonna go the long way around. So that way I can farm for some shards. Really quick, like, so I don't. I get shards in the way, that way I don't have to do it again. The only thing I'll have left to farm is chunks.
Forget about you. Ow, it hurts. Ow, it's so painful. Thanks. I think after I'm done streaming, I'm going to have to, like, readjust my video cables or something. TV screen, TV screen keeps going black, but the stream doesn't drop. So at least the computer is not losing signal. Just my TV. I'm going to kill Flame... So the, the idea here is I kill Flame Lurker. I always go to World 4 first. Clear it out. Or it's, um, what is it? I go to World 2 to get materials to upgrade my weapon. I go to World 4. And for the most part, I clear World 4. Because World 4 gives you the easiest souls. And for the most part, it's the easiest level for me to get through. Could you... Ooh, my plan has gone horribly. Awkward. There we go. That took longer than it normally did. I had a I had a strategy for that. But I, I failed it horribly. Oh wait, what? I missed, missed him. Whoops. I need you to come forward. Come forward, perp. Let me see your hands. Looks like, okay, he's almost off of the corpse. There we go. That's a chunk right there that I need. Wow, they both got away almost. You've been playing Zelda for an hour? That game will do it to you. Make you forget what, what you were doing a moment ago. Definitely did that to me when I was playing it. There we go, got all my shards. I was able to kill them both at the same time. That was lucky of me. How many dungeons or how many shrines have you been done so far, Ken? Like, I was going through so many of the shrines before I even tried to do the main dungeons and stuff. 
You've done 30? I think I did maybe like 25 or 26 of them before I even got to the first major dungeon. And of course, you don't even have to do all the dungeons and you don't have to do them in any specific order. I think the one I did first was the Zoro dungeon because it was like the first one that I stumbled across by accident. into his attack you want to bait him into doing his slam or an attack of some sort but he's not being friendly to me today now what I'm not sure what his deal is he's, he's he's like really playful today for some reason there he goes now he's being super aggressive man That's fine though, if he backs off, it makes it easier for me to heal. Run. And then he... Jump? Oh, that wasn't the jump. There it is. some grass. Did I already get it? No, there it is. No, that's a soul. Okay, I thought it was grass. I always thought it was grass. I don't know why I thought it was grass. You ended up doing Zoro first as well? I guess that's just the way that they had it set up, huh? Weird. Wait, I don't need that, so I'm not going to use it. Getting tired of my TV, please stop doing that. I'm losing sound, so sometimes I can't tell what he's doing. I get scared when my TV just loses sight. That works. No, he can't kill me. I'm gonna be fine. See, you trick him into attacking one area, and it works out just fine. Chunks? Okay. right into it. Let's reload and see if I can get a pierce done. Because if I don't get a pure stone, I'm probably just going to finish the game with a plus four.
I got lucky the last run. Here, stone. There it is. I need one more chunk, I think. Good luck. Second try every time. Now I don't need to save Ostrava. As I really didn't want to. Takes too long. And we'll go to, um, uh, go to Lao Tria and get my ass killed by the man eaters. I wasn't sure if I stored some chunks already, but I got extra just to be sure. I'm pretty forgetful about what I do in this game now. Oh, I did have extra. No skin off my back then. I'm always thinking, maybe I should play some music while I stream. But nobody wants to hear my music, I think. Plus, I'm really bad at mixing audio, I think. Ha! <laughs> Beat you, Rydell. Thought you could get me, but you couldn't. It's kind of sad to think the Kiwage does way more damage than this thing. Kiwage usually does about 222 to these dudes. This thing's only doing about 187. And it's, I'm at roughly the same stats as I am when I use this. Is it really that much of a difference in strength? Hmm. Maybe I just need to double check my stats. Yeah. He's gonna scream one more time. Please help me. And then I'll stop here. And then there we go. And then I think when I get to the very bottom floor, he's gonna scream one more time. 
I'll always mention it, but every time an NPC speaks to you, after their dialogue ends, for about two seconds, you can't attack and you can't use items. You also can't roll. It's like uh, they built it in just to make sure you don't accidentally attack NPCs upon finishing talking. I guess, I don't know, I really under- I don't understand what the- the point of that is. It's something that's in Dark Souls and like, Bloodborne, I think. I think. Nobody mentions it now that I think about it. It's kind of weird. It's like, I think Milt was the first person to mention that kind of stuff, and then I noticed it in the other games. So I always talk about how strange a mechanic it is. It's probably a glitch. attack you. Chump. Kiddo. Don't- nothing personal, kid. Oop, almost forgot the one key that I did need. Not gonna get bracelets. Bracelets overall gave me maybe an extra four levels. Levels that I they're not really that useful. Okay. I always get this key even though I'm never gonna use it again. After you get to a certain level of health, this trap doesn't do anything to you anymore. Like, I have like, almost, I think just about, yeah, I have 30. 30 vit, this thing barely takes anything off of you now. I guess it's because I'm coming here at a really, really high level. So I can usually just steamroll most of the levels. So I guess no death is kind of pointless in this game at, at, an, at some point, really. Gotta do something else, I guess. Anybody can can anybody think of any ideas I should do for a no, for a gimmicky run of some sorts? Nothing Lobo is. I can't be doing Lobo's junior runs. Something ultra hardcore, not for casual. I was just being facetious about that. Please don't give me really hard to do runs. I don't like hard things. I, I barely, uh, I can't cope with failure that much. I take it all back. I don't deal with failure that much. You've guys seen how much- how angry I get when I die in this game. Imagine how angry I would get if I died all the time. Though, actually, I was thinking of, like... So, what I would do is I would use webcam, and every time I got angry, I would be forced to do a physical exercise of some sort. Like, frankly, I don't get enough exercise, and frankly, I get enough anger 
I get enough angry that I think I should do something with that anger. Channel it into something. That makes any sense. So maybe that's what I should do. I'll have a webcam and every time I get physically angry at a video game, I'll do like 10 reps of weights or do 10 jumping jacks or 10 push-ups, stuff like that. Because frankly, I even I know I can't control myself as well as I would like to. So rather than funnel all of that hate and anger vitriol into not playing the game better, I'm just gonna get physically fit instead. I think I'll get really buff if I do it that way. I'll be ripped before the first stream is over. Not to mention I should probably do a gimmicky ass run too just to make my salt even more high. Even higher. Maximum levels of salt is, are needed. Hey, get out of here. Give me your sword. No? Okay. I keep asking them for the sword. They never give it to me. Welcome back, Vegeta. I think I might need to take a bathroom break soon. I've only been streaming for two hours, but I... I think what I'll do is I'll clear the towers, and then when I get up to the uh, man eater, I'll take a bathroom break real quick before I get to the fight. I know the second they fall off the ledge, that's the one that has the rapier. Because the weight of falling off the ledge is because of the rapier. Perfect timing. Perfect. Has the run been? Mm, the only thing I had any issue with was Flame Lurker, and that was about it. And even then, that wasn't really much of an issue. Man eaters will probably be my scariest part because of the, you know, the the overwhelming fear of falling off the ledge. That's pretty much all I'm worried about is the overwhelming fear of falling off a ledge. Because the last time I played, I did fall off a ledge, and it was in such a ridiculous way too. Like there was literally nowhere else to go. I had to fall off the ledge because he pinned me between two pillars, and his body was so big I couldn't roll past him. Like, for some reason, the Maneater is, like, one of those unique enemies where you can't displace them by rolling into them. And I just worked myself into a, into a ledge. So hopefully I don't do that today. I want this to be the highlight of my run. That I killed them so magnificently that they stood in awe of my presence that they just let me stand there and kill them. That's how awesome, awesome I am. I'm really good at this game, guys. Honest. I'll get into no-hit runs someday. I should. Yes. Try one of those. I'll try... I, I should try one of those runs out. It's an interesting way to play the game. I've only seen Milty Milt do no-hit runs. I haven't seen anybody else try them. I think Hob might try it. I think that was like one of the things that he was gonna do if he uh, beats all the other Souls games. Either Demon Souls or Bloodborne, no hit. There's gotta be somebody that I think. There's gotta be at least somebody who's done Bloodborne, no all bosses, no hit. Sorry, I'm going off on tangents. I need to be quiet. Talk about Demon Souls instead. Demon Souls is a fun game, but man, is it broken.
And I know I'm definitely doing not as much damage as I normally would. Because usually I kill these guys in two hits. Usually. Nice. Nice RNG. Best elevator RNG. And uh, I think this is like EU elevator levels of RNG, I think. Okay. There's a dude following me. He follows for quite a while. He should land around about here. No, oh, he didn't follow me this time. That's new. Ah, oh, there you there's the other guy. Okay. Got you. All right. Okay, almost time for a break. I gotta get up and stretch my legs and use the bathroom. Oh my goodness, I'm getting all the good RNG today. Perfect. You win. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Got to get something to drink and, of course, obviously use the bathroom before that. So, I'll be right back. Okay, back. Got a cookie and something to drink. So let's see if this goes as well as I hope it does. Nothing but smooth sailing. 
Nothing but it. Ah, I'm hoping to run. Oh, my goodness, perfect. You better come back down here. Your brother is about to come. I don't need to fight both of you. Oh, God. Perfect. Easy 100% execution. Oh. into that. I heard some noise. I don't know what it was. I'm sorry. Whoa. We iframing it, boys. Um, can you come back? Land, maybe. Would you land? I know it's really hard doing, you know, things like a normal person. But here are here in, you know, Bolataria, people stand on the ground. I was worried. <laughs> he almost knocked me right clean off. Okay. For the most part. I think I'm gonna be fine. Only thing left is Blue Drag. The only two guys that I have left to worry really much about are Blue Dragon and Alant. I think so, anyway. It's, they're always the two issues that I have after the Man Eaters. I always worry about Man Eaters because they always have the propensity to knock me off. At least once every 20, once every two runs, really. I need to get good at fighting the main eaters, I think. very surprised by how little damage I do to those guys anyway I'm literally I am used to the damage that the key which can do I think that's what I'm having trouble getting over my my head around is that this weapon is roughly the same da size as the key which, but it does nowhere near as much damage grinding job points and bravely default oh that's a game I've never even considered playing yet it's kind of funny that I haven't. I should try. I should get back into like just regular RPGs at some point. Maybe one day stream like I'll continue my stream of Dragon Quest VIII that I started like three years ago. Wouldn't that be fun? You guys want to watch some Dragon Quest VIII? You're, you're allowed to backseat me, but just not too hard. Whose emote is that? It's really good. Butt stink. Fast forward function so it makes battles quicker and there seems to be a ton of jobs. I really liked Octopath Traveler, the demo for it. It was pretty fun. You're making me think of Octopath when you mention it like that. 
Except each character only had one specific job class. Like one character was a dancer so she could buff all the characters. One dude was a straight out melee build who could like destroy everything. You'd like... You like Dragon Quest VIII also? Cool. I was gonna play the 3DS version. Or try to stream it at least. Being dying strength. Yeah, Dragon Quest VIII, Quest VIII is like my favorite RPG. Or my favorite turn based RPG, really. Until something else comes along and beats it. I guess technically, if you wanted to say this was a turn-based RPG, there's some turn-based aspect to this. You gotta know when to attack with this game. Is this the one on PS2? There, Yeah, it's on PS2, and it also got ported to the 3DS. 3DS version is... Uh, the better version because it gives you a lot of uh, conveniences that the first one didn't have also I fell off I was very worried I was going to die from the fall let's just go slow and steady guys it's not hard not very hard nice I'm doing enough to one shot these guys now Go this way. Hold on, nah. You sold your 3DS? It's funny that you didn't like it because of Akira Toriyama did the art for it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think Dragon Quest VIII has some of the more charming artwork. Although I've been playing Dragon Quest VII a little bit, and that game's actually kind of grown on me with how charming it is with its art. Though it's a different style of uh, turn-based RPG from Dragon Quest VIII, I think. I forgot I have fire bombs. I kept fire bombs specifically to deal with the rats that were down here. So let's get her ready. See, that's exactly the best execution possible. Only one left is you. Perfect. Had nothing better to say about that. Oh, look, there's another one. Nice. I got two arc stones. Or two arc stone shards. That was my bad. I wasn't expecting him to knock me outside. I was expecting not outside, that's for sure. Really did not expect him to knock me outside. I was expecting him to knock me into the building, actually. Monka S. Also, I didn't mean to use that, but it's fine. I can use this to kill everything much faster than... the way bosses to slay brew I don't have enough time now let's just hope I don't fall off the top here and die I've done this before if you fall from up here and don't roll you die so you gotta like go here and then walk off and then there you go
Ah, and then you get hitbox where you can't tell where he is. Or you can't tell where he's supposed to hit you in that animation. Like, that's the most confusing animation I can think of. This guy has the most weird, jank animations in the entire game. Because you can't tell where the hitboxes are. Because it looks like his arm's right, like, literally right next to you. It's not even colliding with you, and it's, like, right next to you. You know what? Let's use these. I'm not going to collide with anything for a long time, so I might as well. You know what? No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm saying, let's do this. Let's do this thing. And then I almost fuck it up gradually or uh, magnificently because of how bad I am at the game. But yeah, I'm not really sure what... I guess what I'll do is, uh, in regards to RPGs, I should stream more of them. Is what I should do. Like, Dragon Quest, for example, is one of the games that I... I bought several Dragon Quests, and I have yet to stream any of them, really. Like, Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Warriors 1 and 2. I've got Dragon Quest 5. Like, a Japanese copy of it when I was in, uh, Tokyo. Like, I went to this place called Super Potato, and they had a lot of, uh, ridiculously old games, and Dragon Quest V was one of those games that I wanted to buy because of the box art. Box art alone. Will you play the NES Dragon Quest? Well, I got the Game Boy version. I didn't want to get the NES one. I don't like the way it looks. I'm more of an, a Game Boy aesthetic for the Dragon Quest. Digimon Cyber Sleuth? Oh yeah, I still have that one too to play. I played a little of it and then I never went back to it. I meant to. I just never went back to it. I still gotta play Drake, uh, what is it, Digimon World. Because Digimon World was also one of those games, like, it was the game from my childhood. It was one of those PlayStation games that I really, really, really liked. I knew I forgot to equip another thing. So in lieu of dark moon grass, or new moon grass, let's get soul remains. Game Boy Color is fine, but you'll have to emulate it. I have a Super Game Boy, so I can play the... I only have the Game Boy version. I don't have the Game Boy Color version. I know there's two iterations of it. I just have the Game Boy version. And then also a Super Game... I have the Super uh, Nintendo Classic that I can play a couple of the games off of it as well. Like, I think that's how I'll play Drag um, Dragon Quest V. Because Dragon Quest V was never released here. As far as I can remember. It was never translated. So I got a translated fan patch. Or was that something else? Yeah, that was a something else. That was a different game. There was another game that I had to patch manually. Because for some reason I couldn't find a patch version of it online. I had to find the patch and the game separately. I keep forgetting to equip things. I should know how to do this by now.
Their poison is different from the poison that you get in the swamp. I never noticed. So they have a higher level of poison when they push you than than the swamp does. So when those guys when these guys hit you, they they do a lot more damage per second. Huh, I know it's weird. Still learning stuff. I'm a professional. Don't don't worry. I'll keep playing game. I'm still good. I think his poison is probably the most powerful poison in the game. Poison mist, I mean. Or his particular poison mist. I'm not entirely sure, though. Yeah, I never would have noticed either. It's like, but that poison does more damage than I've ever seen poison do. Which means I'm not paying attention as much as I should. It did, like, a level of poison that made me think of being plagued which is weird because they nobody plagues you except scant enemies like maybe a handful of enemies in this game actually plague you. oh I was hoping you'd only do the one Hug his, uh, hug his armpit and you're good to go. I know if you upgrade specific weapons in the game, you do more poison and more plague per second, but yeah. Wait, did I actually get the word? Yeah, I got it. Good. Leave us, slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary, is a sanctuary for the lost and the wretched. And wretched. Leave there quiet. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please, leave, quiet. leave quietly. How dare you intrude upon us? Oh! Uh, sorry, sorry. Allow me to retort. Whoops. Sorry, sorry. Let's try that again. And now to display my spoils of war to the woman that was kind of the waifu of the dude I just murdered. Hey lady, I just murdered your husband. Here's his shield. Give me your soul. Bye. See, look. The, see, the poison that that dude did to me was the same amount as the health uh, as this toxic or this plague. It's crazy. That's how much damage that that plague was or that poison was doing to me. Totally, totally insane. Ah, there's Maiden Waifu. I need more health. More. Alright, well, Ostrava's gonna rot in a ditch.
That could be it. Or maybe it was like delineating levels of poison and I just got the most powerful level of poison and it's roughly the same level as toxic. I'm going to go with your theory though. Cuz I'm too I'm I'm too lazy to come up with any other theory really. Like one run I was going to plan was to do baby's nail and like plague everybody that I could possibly plague. Like use two different weapons, like a dagger only run and one of the daggers would be a fatal dagger and this dagger would be the baby's nail. Heck, with how long this dragon takes, I could have made it across the bridge already. That was totally intended. Trying to make it look like I'm having a trouble here, but I'm, I'm going to come back. It'll be fine. Totally intended. I'll use the last turpentine that I have on him, I guess. All right. Almost. I'm killing you guys on principle now. On the principle, literally, I killed him on behalf of my principle. I always know what sound they, he's supposed to make when he gets to a specific spot on the bridge. He always makes that sound when he gets onto this part. Big man trying to be flashy as hell, and, I, and then I kill him with one hit. You heal. I said heal. Now I'm gonna have to heal. Unbelievable. Played yourself. Alright. I don't need this for him, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm pretty sure I'll just kill him standing up. With how flat out... How much freaking damage this is gonna... Delete, destroy... Oh, sorry. I got ahead of myself. Like, if I attack his thigh or something, he's gonna do pretty good damage, I think. Okay, now head comes off. Ow, I got hit. Lawsuit. Whoops, uh, I still need I still need the dre the shield to to live. I need the shield to live. You know all these So many souls here I got to pick up. Oh, and some grass. That's pretty good. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to try to do this thing here. You can usually roll over the debris, but lately I can't do it. Like, I don't know what about me that's messing it up so much. There we go. Did it. Nice suit. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, bros. It's so annoying how in sync they are with their attacks sometimes. I would chop it up to RNG, but I'm pretty sure Miyazaki just like flipped the RNG switch on just now. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's been pulling a lag switch on us lately. That's why the U uh, the US servers have been poop. I was a wimp and ranged him with a bow. Well, I mean, that's how bows work. I've done bow only runs before. Frankly, fighting him with a bow only is kind of hard when you're trying to shoot his legs. How easy was it for you to hit his head, by the way? I think the last time I tried to hit him in the head, it wasn't really going well for me. Bow only runs are kind of hard if you if you uh, fight specific bosses. Now that I think about it, like um, yeah, flipping, flopping, whatever the crap, you're dead. You couldn't? Okay. Huh. What'd you do? Shoot his legs? Dang, I'm doing just not enough damage to fight this dude. That's not cool. I have to kill him. I have to hit him three times instead of the two that you probably could have. All right, just keep running. I don't feel like stopping to fight a fat boy or a spearman. Spear boy, sword boy, ninja boy. I don't want to fight any of you guys. I'm just running. Oh. He came up here anyway. Gimme. He can't hit you when you're on the balcony. Yeah, I know that much. Or at least on a specific spot in the balcony. I'm just running now because I don't really feel like dealing with any of you guys. I just want to get through here as fast as possible and declare there's no death. No death. Ow! Alright, get this over here, because this is like best grass drop in the entire game. Kill all you dudes. Oh, maybe I'll... Nice, more grass. Hero soul? Oh, that's a legendary soldier soul. Never mind. You had trouble getting to his head when trying to use the melee method. I was super bad at souls. Everybody's bad at souls. I'm always bad at souls. I'm never not good at souls, really. I'm always bad. There's still several areas that I can improve on, but I, I just don't improve. I always have the same inconsistencies. And it's just like, it's just the way that the game is. There's always a level of RNG to this game. Even after you think you're really good at it or something like that. I need to do something else besides no death runs, really. level up real quick give myself just a little bit more damage yeah that's exactly how I feel about it too I always feel like I'm never gonna be like at that level of like uh, one of those challenge run dudes there's like a level of concentration and patience that I just don't exhibit in these games Frankly, the only reason I do no death is because I hate dying. So this forces me to learn strategies that allow me to persist living 
for as long as I possibly can. I think that should help. Like, just an extra three points of how, uh, damage should be more than enough to deal with my enemies. Okay. Just Blue Dragon stands in the way of the final boss. Because, frankly, we all know Old King Alant is a pushover. He's not even... He's kind of like one of those bosses that's meant to be memorable rather than a challenge. Because, frankly, the game is supposed to be challenge, but, you know, not for the sake of being objectively hard. It was supposed to just be hard for the thrill of overcoming great adversity. Not like uh, putting 20 enemies in a hallway was hard enough. I think Penetrator Boy is following me. I think he's following me, you guys. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Okay, hey, kid. Give me your stuff. I don't need you, but I'm gonna... Pure sharp stone, though. I, I don't need it, but I'll take it. Thanks. I mean, I could have just picked one of these up earlier, but chose not to. It's rare enough, I, I think. Okay. Gimme. Thank you. I forgot to equip my panic heals for when the dragon actually burns me. Because he will. That dragon's gonna get me at least once. Ooh. Whiff. See? Panic heals. That's exactly why these are out. False King still gets you sometimes. I'm wondering if he's ever killed me. No, wait, yeah. False King obviously kills me. The real King Galan is the one that I never die to because he's a joke. Or that's kind of the point, really. He's supposed to be a joke. He's supposed to be like, you know, a dude that's well past his prime to the point of absurdity. It's like, he thinks he can fight me. I killed all of his buddies before I got there. <laughs> Silly king. I knew I was going to get burned. That's why I have the panic heals out. Hell, I don't even need to use the panic heal on this. I can use, I'll just have it up for, for the next part. Blue Dragon gets me a lot. He's killed me several times, actually. So that's why I usually... I allow myself new moon grass for this and the final boss. See? That's why I... This is why I have the panic heals. Panic heals for this part. In case I goof. Like that. <laughs> this is what uh, this is what the he the heals were. They were for preventing death right there. Cause other than that, I usually never use them. They're always for the final areas. Cause frankly, there's no area prior to this part that's worth using them. Exactly. The second, I already know a strategy to how to get there. He always starts with the exact same pattern every single time. So all he, all he does is the second he goes, the second he is landing and he's breathing, you already know that he's going to go from, from his right to the left. So you usually can just hug the right and you won't be hit. But I got stuck because I wasn't paying attention. Because, you know, I'm pretty bad at video games. Um, I guess I'll try both. Sticky white stuff and I think, I don't think black turpentine is as useful as it is on the other bosses on this one. Usually he, is Dark Souls, do you think Dark Souls is harder? Probably because I've never played them as much. I played Demon Souls so much, Demon Souls is still kind of hard for me, but I think Dark Souls is probably even harder. 
for me anyway. I'm not gonna say it's a hard game for everyone. There's probably people who walk through that game like, like it's nothing. Like me, on the other hand, you see, I'm just, I'm not getting any luck with this dude. It's snowing? Nice. Get the fuck off the wall! Holy shit, I'm not paying attention. Yep, I, I can definitely still die to him, see? <laughs> not hard. Not hard to fuck everything up. Oh, what the hell was that? Yeah, fire doesn't really help against him. Whoa. Sorry, I stopped paying attention to chat because I'm now I have to pay a little bit more attention to him. Oh my god, stop moving. There. Oh, you have a lot of trouble, Nito. Demon Souls is easiest for you. How did you defeat? Same for me, really. Demon Souls is the easiest, but I'm not going to say the other games aren't easy or hard. I I really don't have as much experience with the other games as I do with Demon Souls. Frankly, I need to stop playing Demon Souls and actually start playing another game. Because frankly, I play this game too much. All right, killed him though, so at least I got that. Crowning achievement, right? This is like maybe the tenth time that I've beaten No Death. Yeah, that's nice. I want. Surely you have seen for yourself. Suffering that fills this world. The faith poison. Weird, I got like a bit of stamina regen for a second there. It was strange. I wonder if it was because I it thought the game the game thought I was moving. Like, I collided with his model or something, so it detected me just straight up moving away from him. Alright, dead it did. The deadening. And my bitrate. What's up with my bitrate? Also, I got a duplicate animation for some reason. Okay, guys, what do you think I should do? Should I kill her or should I let her live? Save waifu or end laifu? Save waifu or end laifu? And my bitrate just went kaput again. So I don't know if anybody can actually hear me. I don't understand what's happening. Save waifu. No waifu for laifu. I got one and one. I'll give it another 20 seconds or so. Because I'm already uh, in the camper saving waifu. So it'll be two against one unless otherwise. 
now that I think about it, this is like one of those games that nobody watches, really. Maybe when some gimmicky streamer tries to play the game, like as a redemption run or something, wink, wink, that's when the game gets viewed. Or if you're a Lobos Jr., you get the game viewed. But it feels like this is a, a game that I can't probably play as much as I should if I want to get, you know, like, more popular and stuff. If I want to be a total sellout. Alright, so it's save waifu, because nobody else said anything. Save waifu, because, uh... Junith... Junith? Is that right? Junith and I were agreed. Save waifu. You found your channel because you were looking for Demon Souls. Well, I mean, I'm predominantly Demon Souls. I play other games, but mostly Demon Souls. Whoops, forgot to go online. Not a lot of people stream it. Yeah, I've only seen like maybe a handful of people stream it every now and again as a first playthrough, and then that's it. I don't see anybody ever touch it again. There were some people I used to watch that I wouldn't stream it every now and again. And then there's like, um, I should like make a list of people that stream Demon Souls. That's what I should do. I'll put like a, I'll make a, sec a section below the channel for people that I would recommend if you want to watch Demon Souls. Because there's a lot of people, there are like a handful of people that I know that stream it consistently. In fact, I think if my, if I end my stream now, I'll see if the dude... There's one dude that I, I think he's probably going to be streaming it now. Oh, there actually is somebody. There are two dudes streaming it now. Okay. There's one dude that's streaming a no-hit run Demon Souls. And then there's another dude that's streaming, I think, co-op run. But he's a Japanese streamer. I'm actually kind of surprised to see him on this early. I'm going to stream tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'm going to stream Demon Souls or if I'm going to just stream something else. I was thinking of either streaming streaming Onimusha or Bloodborne. But so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to visually verify that my character did not die. The game allows you to when you go to the Pantheon, the Pantheon will list the player the the time that the player that my just the character that I just did. It lists time for that player as well as how many deaths. So when the servers go down, you're not I'm not gonna be able to verify them the way that I normally do. I'm just gonna you're just gonna have to take my word for it because I've used these videos as reference. Because I did die to De uh, Dragon God the first time, but this will show you that the first encounter with Dragon God is a forced death, and the system doesn't even reflect that as a real death. I think this is her. Yep, that's her. Blue eyes. Two hours, 27. No deaths. <laughs> 